All right, hello there guys. Um, welcome back to the e-bike repairs YouTube channel. My name's Dash, and um, I take apart and fix bike batteries, scooter batteries, controllers, wiring, motors, all that fun stuff. Um, anyway, today I've got something slightly different. It's for my uh, personal vacuum. It's a one power, so a Vax battery in the UK, but I think it might be the same as a Hoover in the US. There's all the info on that. It's a four amp hour, 18 volt. Looks like that. Looks as though there's no way to open it. This one actually does charge. I see lots of them online with this error where the second and the fourth light flash, or the first and third, or whatever it is. Um, this one does charge, so it, it will it will do chargey things. Um, see, what um, happens with mine is it runs out of battery really, 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 really fast. Um, and I had an issue the other day where it just wouldn't charge. I thought. Oh, fix it then shall I basically I'm pretty sure inside this five 21700 cells that um, I'll be able to just replace uh, I don't know if disconnecting power from the BMS inside it is going to turn it off or not so what I was going to do was hook up my benchtop power supply at 18 volts or so um, to it to be able to uh, keep the BMS powered up via these pins in here. I'll find out what they are. I've got here, oh, juicy, delicious, nice, five. So I can even get one out. Oh, wow. It's from the lovely people at New Battery, so cell supply. Um, Molly Cell P45, big lovely cells are pretty much the best cell you can get just about in, in 21700 format. The, probably the best, easiest available cell. They do like, I don't know, 45 amp discharge or something dumb. So, I don't know, lots and lots. They're great, great things though. So it'll be a bit of an upgrade. I think I might have 40 T's in there at the moment. So Samsung's. Um, <clears throat> to open this, we got to look underneath these stickers. If you look underneath the stickers, you see, what's that? Dinny tiny screw hiding there. It is. I'm going to peel the stickers all the way off. I don't know if you have to or not, but they're coming off. There's one screw, two screws. These are uh, T10H, so security torques, I think. I'll have a look in a sec. Get this other sticker off. If I can do it without damaging it, it'd be nice. Oh, look at that. Who's done this before? I'll give you a hint. Me. Um, right. T9, it's not quite right. Uh, T10. Okay, and it's the S, so that's got the little hole in the middle of it which goes over the peg in the middle. You can, if you put a flathead screwdriver in there of the right size, if you turn it, it will just break the pin off or turn the screw. But security talks, but it's a good thing to have, not very expensive. Um, this set that I've got here, a bit rusty now, but it was like, you know, six quid on Amazon or something, so. There we go, that's what they look like. One, two. Oh no. Unfortunately, I was angle grinding something, and um, it would seem that the aluminium filings have stuck to all the residual glue on the uh, on the battery, so that I should really have just cleaned this work surface. <clears throat> right, and then, Apparently it just slides apart. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, they're bright, aren't they? Okay, so we've got a nice case. There we go, look. ABS plus PC slash TPU. So that would be what it's made of. These are, I think, date stampy type things or something like that. Um, it's like a nice moulding, to be honest. I think here there's a rubberized seal that runs in here. If you see these things in the little grooves here, uh, that's a rubber seal that runs around. I can compress that with my thumb. A couple more screws here that would undo this mechanism. A couple more screws here that would undo 
I'm guessing this top plate. Who could say? And then the meat of the matter. This. Oh look. Oh no, that's for the lights. I was thinking, oh, there's a button on this, but the button is the charge indicator. So, haha, look at that. 40 T's, five of them. They're spot welded together. Like that. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. What I think I'll do is... Take this off. You know what, I'll get to that. I'll get to what I think I'll do. Um, temp sensor here is placed on the main negative for whatever reason. It just is. What I think I'll do is leave these nickel strips intact for the balance leads here that are, you know, like that. And I'm probably going to leave this nickel strip intact here up to, you know, a point. That must be a fusible link there because it's very, very thin at that point just there. That must be like its inbuilt version of a fuse. So what I might do <clears throat> is when I spot weld a new piece of nickel onto, onto this end here, I might spot weld it on along and up and I'll, I'll probably directly solder onto this here. Then I don't have to disturb all the nickel on the board. This is nice and thick. It's nowhere near the battery. Soldering onto it's not going to do it any harm. Um, then I can keep it quite simple or maybe I'll go up to here, or something. I want this to be the least amount of work possible for a successful resale. Um, these are only going to be balance strips, if that makes sense. So I'll probably leave this intact, not even touch it on the board, and then run it, you know, just sort of cut it here, and I'll just solder it directly onto the nickel strip that I used to bridge these two cells when I do that. Um, and then, yeah, the same with all of those. And on the main positive side, there's no cell insulators, but they, the nickel is stepped away from the top there. You can see just down it. Oh, look, it's my face. Hello, me. Um, and I'll probably do the same thing where I'll put a piece of nickel along here and over here, and then I'll leave an existing piece and just solder it straight onto it. With regards to what pins are what, I see P plus and P minus, charge plus, RX and TX. So these are the communication pins just here. Charge plus. If I turn it the right way, you might even be able to see. So power negative, torque, receive, charge positive, and power positive. So I'm probably going to hook up 18 volts to this or something identical to the voltage of what's currently in here uh, as, I, uh, as I resell it or as I remove the old cells, and then it won't kill it. Um, right. Not making myself any space today. Gee. Right. Ooh. Well, four, five of those. canisters are quite good for storing stuff or uh, other cells. I'll probably hold on to those. This isn't really a job I'm going to do for customers because the fusible link is probably there for a reason and very specifically rated and uh, I'm going to be doing bad things to that and probably destroying its rating. Um, just consider it more of a Oh look, I'm doing something fun on the internet, kind of thing. So what I'll do, is I'll probably get my meter out, wherever I put that. Of course, it's on the floor behind me. Yeah. You won't even the right size, me. And if I check the voltage of an individual cell on this one, I think the cells are just, on this are just a bit weak is the main problem. Um, 4 volts. 4 volts. 4 volts. 4 volts. And 4 volts. And across the whole pack we've got 20 volts. 
So if I hook up 20 volts to this, that'd be absolutely fine. And this one here is going to be 3.5 volts. So if I do 3.5 times 5, um, you're looking at 3 times 5 is 15. 0.5 times 5, 17 and a half volts, something like that. Um, I think that's right. Bear with me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, 17 and a half volts. I'll turn the power supply down to that when I hook up the new cells and then nothing weird and reverse charging will occur because we don't want that. That will make me quite surprised indeed. So, move some stuff out of the way. Get the power supply on. Uh, we've got our power positive. Down to 20 volts, shouldn't do a lot. Yeah, like nothing. That's good. Like that. Yeah, this is just a danger, isn't it? It's, just, it's like, how would you like me to short out to something important? Yes. So now I've got 20 volts hooked up to that, so as I disconnect the cells, it shouldn't kill the uh, the PCB here. God, this is going to be difficult. What a horrible, horrible thing. I might need to put, I might put some tape over that, just to uh, hold it all down. Because if that slips, it will just short out, and it'll be horrible. And if it comes off, it might break the battery, which will also be horrible. Let's try... Something a little bit like that. Does that feel stable, secure? No? Okay. Great. Let's start removing these cells then. And this is for all the guys that requested a full resale video. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm very, very, very busy. And I can't... Oh, uh, there's be a lot of time and editing and stuff going into it. And to make it look really nice for you guys, I just... I probably can't manage that right now. Um, so you'll get a mini resale video of just a couple cells. It's not often that I actually do something just exclusively for the YouTube channel, but um, I'm not against it. So with it being, uh, it, it's just, it's only just gone summer at the moment. I'm very much struggling with the uh, the whole summer workflow situation. All right, there you go. That's disconnected. Now my power supply has just dropped down to 19.94 volts. With what I set it to, zero point. Zero one two three amps. So just for reference, they're arranged like this: pause, neg, pause, neg, pause. They were joined together like that. They were joined together like that, and that's on its own. It's for me to refer back to, because of course, if I'm filming, I won't remember. Shall I draw it? Shall we witness my drawing skills? Let's do that. Let me get a bit of paper. We've got uh, pos neg of the ball of the chip uh, terminal. Then we've got our main positive. We've got our neg. We've got a pos. We've got a neg, and we've got a pos. These two are joined together. These two are joined together. And on the other side, we'll have an egg, we'll have a pos, we'll have an egg, we'll have a pos, and we'll have an egg. And that'll be these two are joined together, and these two are joined together, with a little bit coming off them, and this will go round 
and ultimately to the negative terminal. Okay, see, look, and now I'll remember how it went and I won't get all confused, <clears throat> which we wouldn't want. I'm going to use cell separators on these. There we go. Nice big 21700 ones. Um, I don't think they're separators, they're insulating terminals. Jobbies. You know what they are, the barley paper ring things. I know they didn't, but I, I'm not going to have custom cut nickel strip with the with the steps in it, so it won't be uh, won't be quite so easy for me. Hmm, delicious. I do like a, a molotov. They feel nice, you know, nice weighty, they're good, I like them. Right, let's continue with the disassembly. I'm cutting this like this because then I'll be able to just solder this directly over my, my strip. Make my life easy and all about making my life easy. So this is just my vacuum cleaner that I use around the house. I bought it on Facebook Marketplace for 40 quid which was great. It was a good deal. Um, it's a Vax Blade 4 or something like that, if anyone's interested, they're great, yeah, I'd buy one, buy one again. And then, where to cut you? If I can cut you in a similar place, it'd be great. Without shorting this set out. There we go one side. I love it when there's only five cells. It's dead easy. I'm glad for the tape. Very glad for the tape. Power supply is still drawing drawing a tiny amount of current, but that's great. Goodbye, first cell. And second cell. I don't know if you need to keep a power supply hooked up to it, but if you do, and I don't do it, and then I ruin my battery. I have to buy another one, which is boring. Where's the fun in that? So up this side is the main neg, soldered to this pin on the board here. Okay, I'll clean up these in a minute. That's that. Right, and then we're going to have our main neg there. Going to have a pause there. A neg there. A pause there. And a neg there. Now, I might whack another piece of tape around this just to hold them in while I'm doing it because push them all over to one side, I suppose I'll push them all over to one side. They're probably meant to be slap bang in the middle, but this is what we're getting, so something like that. Okay, anything to make your life easier we're doing fiddly stuff like this. So, our main neg then, we're going to need to spot weld a little tab onto that that's going to come off this way. So, stay, don't fall over. Let me get my nickel and stuff ready. Okay, right, I've got here some pure nickel strip. 
can't remember what size. It's the 21700 size. I can't remember what thickness it is, but it'll be plenty. It's a little vacuum cleaner. We'll be fine. I can double it up, perhaps. Given that there's that fusible link on there, it shouldn't matter in the slightest. So, I want a piece about that long. I'm just going to turn my power supply down to my 17 and a half volts so I don't get any surprises. And I'll get this spot welder on. And I'll do the video on the spot welder at some point, but it's one of those uh, do create welders. Super capacitor charging up you ones. It's really good, honestly. I, I like it a lot. Big fan. Not too much stuff on the desk. As, uh, as I think I keep saying, makes my life easier. Um, <clears throat> probably going to just set this to max power, which is 120 on this. I've got two second delay set up. Barely feels like two seconds, to be honest. And the leads get quite hot if you're continuously uh, using it, so it's plenty, it's fine. It matters not. Oh, uh, look at that. Beautiful. Should we go for one more? We'll go for one more. You want to miss the centre of the jelly roll, ideally. Look at that. Right, so. How are we going to do this with our soldering? Are we going to leave all the tab or only leave part of the tab? Let's get rid of that. Um. I don't want to fold this bag full too much. What I'll probably do is ideally leave more of the original tab. Get rid of some of that one? Oh, I don't know now. Might leave more of the original tab. I don't really want to be soldering too close to the cells, but should be fine. Should be okay. There you go, look, that'll fold over like that and I can get a nice bit of solder on there in a minute. I'll trim that down. Oh, that's not so bad, is it? That's fine. I don't know if I want to solder them as I go. Or wait until I've got more hooked up to it, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll do the next one. While I'm here, anyway. Okay. This one. Want to slice off. I could make these look really pretty, but it's a battery for me and I don't care. So, we'll want a piece of nickel that will span the two. We'll go from there to about there. So about yay big. Just like that. the corners a little bit. That'll sit nicely. Okay, first problem. These custom holders have a lip. That's annoying. It's fine, it's just annoying. That'd be why they stepped up and around. Because now that's not going to look pretty. Ugh. I think we're just going to have to make do with what we've got here. And I'll accept that this is not going to be my finest work. I can, of course, still turn this cell. Nice and hold this. I think practically it should make no difference. That should be absolutely fine. Doesn't look nice though, does it? It looks 
paw, shall we say. Go with the paw. Uh, and then I can solder that on. I'll probably cut this down into a slimmer tab, I think. Now that I've looked at it more. Some quantity of pride in my work going on today. There you go, I can solder that on like that and that'll look fine. Um, and then we've got one more cell to do. I did used to use side cutters for this. I planted them so quickly though, it was awful. So, now I don't bother. Oh. Okay. Right. Another piece about that kind of length. I'm just going to trim two at the corners for the positive end. and lined up, a bit like that, where's that going to go, about there, possibly these probes are actually a little bit warm but it's fine. Right, uh, I might just do a bit of soldering now, I think, while I'm on this side. Then I won't have to turn it over again when I apart from to check it. So, tin that, tin that, I have to tin under this one, under this one. Under this one, under this one, and then on the top, on the top, and on the top. So, what shall I use? What shall I use? Maybe these bendy pliers. I'll probably go through and make sure they're stuck properly in a minute because I doubt that's taken that well, what I just did. Yeah, they don't look great from this end. don't want to introduce too much heat into the cells, that's the main thing we want to avoid here. Turns out working around a tripod is not the easiest thing in the world. see what that comes out like. It's not the ideal way to do it, really you'd use new custom cut nickel but this is just easier. It's already there. Oh they'll be fine for balance leads. Absolutely fine. This one doesn't even look that bad. It's not the prettiest thing in the world but it doesn't even look bad at all. And there's a gap between that and the cell. Wouldn't be too concerned there. Right. Let's move on to this side, then, shall we? I'm 
normally I tidy the workspace before I did this, but nope, there's just stuff everywhere today. That's what we're going with. Ah, stuck in my skin now. There we go. It's not too bad, is it? <clears throat> so I'll do the positive one last in case it blows up. At least we've got something good to watch then. For the views. Do it for the views. Okay. Uh, what can I slide underneath you that's not metal? Everything is metal. Right, you. you love this to stay upright, stable. It's just. Go, okay, see? Professional. Everything's professional. I don't know what you're complaining about. Right, ready? Okay. So there's another one of these. Something about that one. Give the corners a little snip. For anyone wondering, yes, I do talk to myself exactly this much when I'm not on camera. That's why I thought, well, I'm already blathering. Why not film it? And then people can just ridicule me on the internet. Let's get one of those hooked up there. Hold you in place. It's a bit close to the edge, that one. A bit close together that one. Very hard to do this like this. I've not chosen the uh, a very good way of holding this up. It's very stable, but mm. they'll hold. It's another reason why I won't offer this as a service for anyone. I don't want you to get your battery and then look like a dog's dinner inside. I'd much rather stick to bike batteries where I can put them in my. Um, I've got like a cell squisher. Don't know what you call it. It's a cell holder thing that, well it holds the cells and um, I feel like that, that helps a vast amount with making things look neater. Oh this is so fiddly to do. I need to grow an extra hand. You stay in there, you stay in there, you're going in there. When you're like that, you'll be like that. And then I can grow an extra hand. You're not going to turn, you're going to be fine. Health and safety. There you go, beautiful. Well, that's that's a real struggle to get that to line up there and stay there. But he's done it. But he's done it. Has he done it? Or has he put them out of work and the case won't close? Don't think they should be rocking like that. Oh no, they'll rock like that. Might be fine. You never know. Worst case, I'll just have to redo everything. <sighs> right, best hold on you. 
Spanish on you. Spanish on you. A little bit for you. A little bit for you. And a little bit for you. Okay, let's put a pause. Who's just waiting for this to go bang? Okay. And then we've got just one more. The main positive. It's not going to blow up. It's not going to. I'm horrible and sticky all over my hand here. I've probably spilled something from something. Ooh, nasty. Okay, how long do I want you to be? Probably not that long. Probably just about a little piece like this. go. Right, well, getting awful close to moment of true time. Will it go bang? Doesn't go bang. So that's cool. Um, right. Where do I want to chop you off at? I want to chop you off about there somewhere. Oh, at a stupid angle. Great stuff, Dash. the solder on there. And where are you going to come over? Under here somewhere. A bit of solder on that tab. <laughs> Get it to cool off. Bend it down. And a bit of solder on the top. Right. Okay, moment of truth. Does it work? It works. Yes, I am going to reuse this tape for something else later. In case anyone's wondering, absolutely. Stick it to the tripod. Even that bit. Disconnect our power supply, nice and carefully. Let's turn that off now. Just like that. Okay. That looks horrendous. Looks awful. What I think I'd do differently in future is, you see how I've managed to get this strip really nice? I think I've left the a step in it like they did. I'd probably make up the strips first, maybe in a, in a vise or something, so that they have this over, up, across, down, over type step to them. Um, I think that'd look better. If you were doing it loads, you'd come up with this, um, you'd, you'd step it up and over probably. That's only half soldered, I might address that. That's soldered, but it doesn't look like it is. I'll address that. Um, so yeah, I'd do that. If you're doing a load, you'd come up with a system to make up the strips first, wouldn't you? And then you wouldn't be all that time bloody cutting them and stuff. Um, the fusible link is still intact. So that, I think, would be the weak point if something happened. We can put our little temp sensor back where it was. So on the end of the, the negative cell. Along with the, this 
delicious this stuff here but yeah um, I mean it all still fits well it might all still fit we'll find out in a sec it still works at least what way round did that go I wish I'd checked I wish I remembered is there only one way it fits if it's that way or it fits that way there's a little notch here which would go to the notch on the back so it goes that way Okay. Oh, that feels all right, doesn't it? Go in there like that. Mm. Two bars. Let's pop some screws back in it, and we'll see if it takes a charge. Okay, screws back together, still turns on. Does it charge? It charges. I think that's charging. Uh, charging is that light is illuminated there, so. The flashing, sorry. Defective is a red, testing is that, charged is no lights. And that's flashing. It works. Stiff. No, it's not. I've got my uh, hoover here. Pop it in there like that. Thinks it's low. There you go. Well, I'm going to leave that on charge for a while. And. Um, yeah, if anybody else has that kind of issue, let's say the cells have died in their battery. Um, like mine, they, mine were weak. They weren't dead, dead, but they were, they were weak. Um, you can just cut them out and replace them. Please, you know, do a nicer job, a prettier job. Cut yourself some custom nickel. And, um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of thing, please feel free to leave us a like rating. You can share the video with other people. You know, some other people might have the vacuum. Um, leave a comment if you think I'm an idiot. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. The, the resale videos are a little limited, but there'll be more. As that's what people want, I'll do it. Um, <clears throat> and um, oh, I've got I've got a members thing where if you want to become a channel member, you can. It involves you give a pound a month or something like that. I get a shockingly small quantity of that because of YouTube fees. Oh, it's like 59p or something, um, but sure. And um, you get to see exclusive videos, so that occasionally I will release stuff that only someone who subscribes to like the, the membership thing can, uh, can do it. It's like, imagine OnlyFans for YouTube, but it's all just still me with batteries and, you know, fixing stuff. It's all, yeah, anyway. Thanks, bye-bye.